Okay guys, Captain Richard Hajeki, and we are back with a another video here. And uh, this is something we get asked a lot about because um, growing up learning about spring brown trout and trying to have as wide of a spread as you can and cover a bunch of water and get those spooky brown trout after the boat goes over them because you're fishing in such shallow water. Um, this technique really has uh, exploded in the last five years or so, maybe five to seven years. Uh, guys very rarely would ever throw dipsy divers out in 10 foot of water to, uh, to target brown trout. So um, we got handed some, some Chinook divers and said, hey, um, you know, put these out while you're spring brown trout fishing and see what happens. So we did, and we were absolutely amazed at how many fish they took. So um, Chinook Diver is, uh, is made in Rochester, New York. It is a metal diver. Uh, they do have some different color tapes they put on. They also make this in black. I don't think it matters all that much because uh, when this really shines, you're fishing in water where you can't even see this diver. So um, here's how we run it. We tend to move the, the weight all the way out to the end. So you'll see on this side, there's four hole settings over here. So we tend to move that weight all the way out to the side. And that's how we run these when we're fishing skinny water. I like to let them out. If I'm fishing in 10 foot of water, I'll put them out like 12 foot. If I'm fishing in 8 foot of water, 8 to 10 foot. They basically hang straight down. They don't really do too much getting out to the side because there's not enough line uh, really for them to start to stretch their wings and get out. Um, as far as leaders go, you would think, why not a slide diver? Why not a 10 foot leader? But really it's, it's a, I would call it a wingspan. So four to five foot um, is all I'm, I'm running behind these. So, I mean, these are li literally right next to the boat. Um, what I always tell people, if you can see this in the water, it's probably not going to be a good player for you. But if you let this out 10 feet and it disappears in that water, this is going to be one of your better rods throughout the day. And these take big fish, uh, believe it or not. So um, this green one always goes out. The uh, Glow Froggy, whether it's a Super Slim or a Stinger, always works good behind this thing. So now uh, let's go over the rods that we use um, on those Chinook Divers. Uh, the one we use with customers... Um, this is a nine foot medium light action Fish USA flagship rod. We've got it loaded with a Saltist uh, 30. It has 20 pound braid and there is a fluorocarbon leader. That is a McCoy uh, fluorocarbon leader. We tend to run 12 pound test on our fluorocarbon leader. Uh, we do about a rod and a half, maybe a rod. So eight, eight, to, eight to 12 foot of a fluorocarbon leader and then it goes straight to the braid. This is a great rod for those Chinook divers, those ones and those twos. Um, it's a light rod and it's a lot of fun. For years we were running a, uh, an eight foot medium light action Great Lakes rod. That was a really good rod for it. But if you want to have a lot of fun and you're f fishing with experienced anglers, we have a nine foot, let's see if I can find one here, here we go. This is a nine foot light action rod that Fat Nancy's carries. And this is a this is a Riverside nine foot light action rod, uh, six to 15 pound test line. We've got this loaded uh, usually with a with a 20 uh, size saltus, but we'll, we'll run braid on that if we are out just having a good time and want a, a light action rod for our Chinook divers. Um, most of the time this rod is used on planer boards when we're pulling stick baits. But if you want to have fun with those Chinook divers, this is the rod that you want to pick up. So if you have any questions and uh, I haven't answered, you know, something that you uh, were curious about when it came to Chinook divers, um, just uh, drop a comment below, guys. These are sold at uh, Fish USA, so um, I'll try to link that down below. Like I said, the rods, reels, all that stuff. Is over at Fish USA. It's a great one shop stop or one stop shop, however you want to put it. And uh, the shipping is fast. You just can't beat it. It's uh, it's a great tackle shop. I'm very fortunate to be working with them as well. So um, again, any any questions on the Chinook diver setup or how to fish them? 
leave a comment below and I will uh, do my best to answer all those. So thanks for watching guys. And I'm looking forward to putting out a few more pieces of content for you guys this year. Uh, it seems to be taken very well. I appreciate all the, all the thanks and, and all the, the great comments that come with these videos. So um, good luck this season, everybody. We are just getting the season started with these brown trout and uh, the salmon will not be far behind. So have a good one. Thanks for watching.